we're going to talk book haul today or i'm going to show you all the books i got in january february and march 2020 so yeah if i got it right i got 14 books in three months which is actually kind of okay because some months like i got 43 books yeah in a month so this time i was good we got quite a few books i bought for uh the magical readathon but also others that i was waiting for and blah 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 blah. but let's just jump into it so i'm gonna give you a short summary of the book if i remember it and yeah i think the first book i got is actually this one so the night country by melissa albert which is actually the sequel to the hazelwood i don't know the summary of that one because actually that's a sequel so i'm not gonna give you a summary of a sequel duh but the first book was really confusing the first half of the book i really enjoyed then the second half of the book i got lost i cannot remember the rate i give it like three maybe i think i don't know but i I'm still curious and I want to know what's gonna happen in that book. I know a lot of people didn't like that book and hated it, but I'm still curious. If I remember well everything. It is a story of a girl who her grandma died and actually she was a writer writing fairy tales and stuff like this and she wasn't in contact with her because her mom didn't want to when they were traveling from one place to another etc etc so never in contact with her grandmother but apparently she wrote a book that kind of disappeared the book wasn't easy to find etc and people were like spending money millions to get their hands on that book and one day she's gonna find a boy who has that book kind of thing i don't know I don't remember. She's gonna get involved in some weird stuff. I still have tons of questions, but I'm intrigued for the sequel. And yeah, of course, I got the sequel. My gosh, that was a lot of bubbling just to tell you that I'm intrigued. The second one I got, I think, is A Heart So Fierce and Broken Lonely book, Broken by Bridget Kummer. Uh, this is a sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I preferred A Curse So Dark and Lonely, retelling of the Beauty and the Beast. I didn't, I don't know, I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as the first one. I think I gave it four stars, so still pretty high. Then, of course, I got this one, so Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, continuing with my green series as you can see here then i got that book but you cannot see which one it is but this is blood hair by amelie wenzel and this is a retelling of anastasia i'm currently there i think i've read that so i have so much left because i'm buddy reading it yes it's the middle of the owls and i'm buddy reading a book that's not for the owls but whatever so far I'm so confused <laughs> with the main character because i kind of i'm kind of mad at her because she's supposed to be a warrior a survivor etc but she seems very stupid and her behavior doesn't match the reputation she's giving herself kind of thing but i'm curious to dive into that book more then I got uh, four books that were recommended to me by Katerina and the fifth one, uh, which I'm going to start with, is Parasite. I haven't got it yet, so that's why I'm showing you the web picture, but it's coming. It's a manga, Parasite. Apparently some people have the abilities to shapeshift some part of the body, so as you can see from the picture, it might be very gross, but I'm into it. Then we got Tokyo Ghoul, which is also a manga about ghouls, etc, etc. So I've read it, I finished it, I gave it four stars because I still have a lot of questions, which I kind of love to have at the end of the book, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I feel like some answers should be given at the very beginning of a story sometimes just to understand the context etc etc which wasn't the case in this one but i'm still very happy that i've read that one and i want to continue with the series i'm curious about the anime uh is it on netflix i think it's on netflix but if you've watched the anime and read that one let me know what you think of them both but yeah then we got this one one week in the library and actually, I gave that book five stars, I think. And then I read so many reviews on Goodreads of people saying that it was bad. A lot of very bad reviews, which actually really surprised me. Like, I read that book in no time. The art is kind of, like, I really love it, but it's different. Like, you're gonna follow the character who is gonna go through, like, from Thursday to Wednesday, kind of thing, so one week in the library, and every day he's gonna tell you what the day is usually like, what the day 
usually looks like and I think like Mondays we do that, Tuesday we do that, blah blah blah. I really enjoyed it, it was really interesting and I loved the ending which I wasn't expecting like at all. And people were like the author actually tried to be smart with that ending etc etc and I'm like I wasn't expecting it so whether he was trying to be smart or not I don't care, I enjoyed it. And people really did say bad stuff about that book but I really really enjoyed it. It was light and I love the perspective of it and I really enjoyed getting surprised at the end. So I would definitely recommend it even if no one will ever. <laughs> then we have Children of the Whales. Whales, I usually say whale but there is a S at the end. I don't know what it is about. Uh, I know that it has a beautiful cover and I'm really intrigued actually because I saw that book so many times everywhere and you cannot see it but it's it has some shiny parts on it which I really love so I'm really intrigued I want to read that book. Then the last book that was recommended to me by Katerina is this one Solanine. So this is a manga of course but I think here you have the volume one and volume two because this is a manga with only two volumes so if you're looking for a manga that's not like 45 mangas long, you know what I mean? Maybe you could try that one. This one is closer to a contemporary than any of the others I showed you who are kind of fantasy. Like Meiko Inu is a recent college grad working as an office lady in a job she hates. Her boyfriend Naruo, Naruo is permanently crashing at her apartment because his job as a freelance illustrator doesn't pay enough for rent. And her parents in the country keep sending her boxes of veggies that just rot in her fridge. Straddling the line between the years as a student and the rest of her life, Mako struggles with her feeling that she's just not cut out to be a part of the real world. So it feels like it's gonna deal with maybe mental health or you know what lots of us went through when growing up and when realizing we are supposed like to act as adults which um I should act as an adult because I'm 29 but sometimes I just don't care and I feel like I'm in Hogwarts or whatever I haven't read it but I feel like I, I could recommend it already <laughs> then I got a book from a bookish box and it was <gasps> can't remember Talking about that bookish box uh, reminded me that I forgot one book so I just added one more book. So if the number of books you actually sing doesn't match the number of the book I said at the very beginning, that's why. <laughs> so I got this one in a free loot. I cannot remember which month it was but whatever. I knew that that book will be included in uh, the box so I want a special cover, a unique cover and I wanted it to be signed because it's signed, right? Yes it is and there is nothing yes there is something on like let me show you on the inside of the dust jacket kind of thing so yes i want a different cover for that one because i really love uh trisha levin seller but at this point i really prefer the original one the red one because i really don't like purple and i should have guessed that fur loot would go with that color because it's actually the color and i don't mind it i'm not saying it's a bad choice or whatever i'm just like personal preference i don't like purple which is fine but i finished that book and i was actually quite surprised i enjoyed it i think i gave it four stars yeah i'm not gonna say much about it because I know a lot of you are actually currently reading it uh, but it is a very slithering book with the main character wanted to marry the king to actually kill him and take his kingdom for itself and to rule her new entire kingdom kind of thing. Yeah I was about to explain why I actually like that book till the end but I'm not gonna say it because the reason why is actually a spoiler but let's say I really enjoyed the slithering mindset here. Then I got that book The Girl Who Drank the Moon. I'm currently in the middle of it. I'm really enjoying it. This is a middle grade fantasy book and it has to do with the girl who was actually abandoned. So there is some kind of beliefs or whatever in a village that every year they have to give up on a kid. They have to give up on a baby, uh, the youngest in the village if I got it right. And they have to go in the forest and abandon there and abandon the child there and leave. Then the witch will actually come there because the village actually believes that the witch wants that kid for some reasons and she want to eat it and blah, blah 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 blah. And the witch doesn't understand why they're doing that. So every year she gets there and she makes sure that the baby kind of survives. She gets the kid and fed him with stars like she's gonna give them starlight and she will make that uh kid a 
not abandoned but adopted by someone else in another village and you know those kids are actually really welcomed because first this is a gift from the witch and usually the kids who have eaten starlight they have some kind of abilities not magic or whatever but like they like cuter and nicer smarter etc etc but one day she's gonna make a mistake she's gonna be tired etc and she's gonna feed our main character moonlight which actually gives magic and this is where the story uh starts i'm really enjoying it it's really cute and you can see all the little messages in there like what should be done and not be done or you can be like oh okay i would have done it that way but i know it's not right or whatever i really i really enjoy it i mean i'm enjoying it i'm still reading it <laughs> Then we have three books uh, from Unplugged Book Box. So the first one is Oasis. I cannot remember what it is, but I can remember that when I read the synopsis, I was like, okay, I thought it was a sci-fi, but it's not a sci-fi, but I still think it's kind of sci-fi. And it's from Katia de Becerra. We already got a book from um, that author. The second one is that one. Together We Got Fire, which is a contemporary, I guess, romance kind of thing. It's not the genre i go for usually but i'm intrigued and the last one we got is actually this one the midnight lie by mary rutkowski i haven't read anything by her and i'm really intrigued by this one not because of the serpents or the snakes on the cover wasn't aware that it was actually a thing and that a lot of people were talking about it i don't know what it is about i really do love the cover i'm intrigued and it is a well-known author so i'm even more intrigued but yes i do love the green-ish color cover kind of thing and then we have the two last books which are harry potter 3 and 4 illustrated versions editions of that book and that's pretty much all you need to know about that like if you've read harry potter you know that having them illustrated means even more if you haven't read them maybe you could try them i'm not saying that harry potter is actually for everyone which is absolutely not the case and i feel like if i haven't had read the harry potter when i was like 10 years old eight nine i cannot remember i don't know if i would actually read them now because it's intimidating to actually start a series that long like seven book series and to know everyone talking about it and to see everyone loving that series and books and shows um i mean movies etc and you being like left out kind of thing and starting it as an adult I don't know. You know that question, uh, what book would you like to forget about and reread it like it was the first time or whatever? A lot of people actually answer Harry Potter, but I'm just like, no, I cannot because I read it when I was a kid. I grew up with that series and now reading it as an adult and being more critical about everything would actually scare me and that I would not like it as much as I do know, you know what I mean? So yeah, that was a lot of battling, but I finished the book haul, which was short, I think. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you've read any of the books I've mentioned, or let me know what is the latest book you've got, uh, you know, recently, and you know, talk to me in the comment section as usual, and I hope you're good, and okay, Let's say the outro as usual. <laughs> hello wolves! Ah, hello wolves? Do I say hello wolves at the end? No, wolves! Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care wolves. Bye. <laughs>